It's very unfortunate that the term chemical has such a bad public connotation nowadays and people tend to use it only when something is toxic or something is causing some damage. Chemistry is so fundamental to so many things that we take for granted nowadays. For example, in all of our mobile phone devices, what controls their size and their weight is actually the battery inside them, not the electronics and everything else. So the big controlling problems about the device actually come down to matters of chemistry. Patents are very important to the funding of any innovation-led industry. If you have to invest a lot of money in research and development, you need to be able to protect the results of that research against copying by other people who haven't had to put in that money. And so the patent system is, I think, fundamental to the um, chemical industry in this country. As a patent attorney, I stand in kind of two camps. On one side, I'm a lawyer, but on another side, I'm a chemist. So I deal with the um, getting of patent protection for new inventions. And so I deal with um, chemists who are inventors all of the time, and I have to be able to talk to them in their language and understand the inventions that they've come up with. I think it's very important that we attract, and I think the RSE has a really crucial role in this, attract young people to study chemistry at universities. I also think we need um, chemical education amongst people who aren't necessarily themselves chemists, so that you know, in the modern funding pressures, uh, people still think that the chemistry departments um, are as worthy of funding as everything else. So chemistry nowadays is a global endeavour. Most research labs have people from all around the world. I myself did a postdoc in Japan at the Tokyo Institute of Technology before becoming a patent attorney. So I've got personal experience with the international dimensions of the subject. There's lots of things that the RSC does that are really important and useful for me as a chemist practicing in the, the field of patent law. I'm very grateful for the publication Chemistry World. It gives me an opportunity to um, keep abreast of developments in all sorts of areas of chemistry. I think Chemistry World's a great publication because it's a, a high level uh, publication that covers a lot of different technologies at a level that anybody can understand. The RSC organises a wide range of events and I've appreciated events that have been organised at all sorts of different levels. At one end there's the academic conferences where I can go and keep up to date on really detailed things in the areas that I used to do research on myself and maybe catch up with former colleagues. More recently the policy events and the public events maybe go into areas that I'm not so familiar with and I can um, get involved in at a higher level. At the RSC I've met people from a wide range of industries that I wouldn't normally come into contact with and in principle any chemist that I meet, particularly anybody involved in research, um, is a potential client so it's great networking for me as well. When I decided to become a patent attorney the Chartered Chemist qualification was very attractive for me. Being a patent attorney I'm part a scientist and part a lawyer and the patent attorney qualification is called chartered patent attorney and so having the chartered chemist status go beside that was very important to me because it shows to people who may be unfamiliar with what I do that on the one hand I'm a kind of scientist and on the other hand I'm kind of a lawyer. I recruit graduate chemists after either a first degree or a PhD and I would always encourage them to join the RSE and to pursue the Chartered Chemist qualification. I think it's a very important certification of somebody's status as a professional chemist. <laughs>